Hello, this is Eric Chappell, Community Evangelist for InfraWorks 360. In this final video of the series, let's review. We began with John creating a model and establishing existing conditions, literally in minutes, through the power of Model Builder. How long would it have taken to do the same task without InfraWorks 360? Think about it. John then improved and added to those existing conditions using survey data and eventually some GIS data, which means that we can take what InfraWorks 360 gives us initially through Model Builder and we can make it as good as we want or need. Next, we turned it over to James, and James worked up a preliminary design for our neighborhood. He started by using the road design tools in InfraWorks 360 to lay out four roads, including intersections. Note how he's using a simple point-and-click approach to lay out these roads. Compare this to the alignment, profile, assembly, corridor approach that's used for detailed road design in Civil 3D. What if James only had Civil 3D for this task? After laying out the roads, James then moved his project into Civil 3D for lot layout and then moved those lots back to InfraWorks 360 for visualization. Now there's an example of making use of the right tool for the job. In this case, InfraWorks 360 for preliminary road design and Civil 3D for detailed lot layout. But let's not limit ourselves to just residential design. James also showed what's possible when performing site design through the example of a model home and a parking area for the neighborhood. Starting in Civil 3D, he used AutoCAD and Autodesk vehicle tracking tools to perform the layout. Then he moved his work into InfraWorks 360 for visualization and also for grading design. How many times have we now moved freely between InfraWorks 360 and Civil 3D to perform specific tasks? I've lost count. It just goes to show you how well the two products complement each other. Communicating your design is most important in the early stages of a project. Why? Because making decisions and changing direction is the least costly the earlier you get in the project. As I showed you in the fifth video, InfraWorks 360 is always ready to communicate with its always 3D, always visual environment. If that's not enough, there are tools that aid you in capturing specific views and even creating an animation to give someone a tour through your model. InfraWorks 360 also promotes a collaborative environment, allowing you to publish a model to the cloud so that you can invite anyone, anywhere to provide input or even make changes to the project, depending on the level of access you give them. With the preliminary design complete, communicated, and shared, it was back to James to start digging deeper into the engineering side. He added a storm drainage system and a culvert crossing to the project and did it surprisingly not with Civil 3D, but with InfraWorks 360. It turns out that InfraWorks 360 has lightning fast and powerful tools that will automate the calculation of flows as well as the 2D and 3D layout of culverts and pipe networks. With the addition of the drainage systems complete, it was time to move into detailed design and documentation, Civil 3D's bread and butter. Here I showed you how to move your InfraWorks 360 design into Civil 3D along with the settings and options available to make that happen as effectively as possible. Once the data had landed in Civil 3D, I showed you how to continue with profiles, assemblies, and corridors, and gave you an idea how all of the other nuts and bolts required to complete a detailed design can now be done in Civil 3D. Finally, with the detailed design complete, it was time to communicate that design while leveraging the context and visualization tools of InfraWorks 360. Once again, we moved data from one product to another, and I showed you some tricks to not only get the data into InfraWorks 360, but also how to affect the output and quickly generate an animation. We've done a lot with nine short videos. In fact, they all add up to less than one hour of information. Could we have accomplished all this without InfraWorks 360 in the picture? After seeing what's possible in these past videos, do you want to complete your next project without InfraWorks 360? If the answer is no, you'll want to act soon because your extended trial is about to expire.
Let's move this on to the next level. Sign up for a desktop subscription of InfraWorks 360 so that you can enjoy its benefits on all your future projects. Once again, this is Eric Chappelle, Community Evangelist for InfraWorks 360. Have a fantastic day.